it's true, they are back. Fasten your seatbelts. We are entering the final lap of this crazy race. It all starts in 2001 with Rob Cohen's Fast and the Furious franchise's humble beginnings. With each new season, the series grew more lively and grandiose, delivering more action and emphasizing the value of family among its constantly expanding cast. Fast 9 almost serves as a conclusion to the two-decade-old Fast and Furious saga, ending on a heartwarming note about a family that also keeps the spirit of the late Paul Walker and his character Brian O'Connor alive. There are two more sequels planned for the Fast saga after nine films and a massive overall box office haul. A few years after the Fast and the Furious events, F9 continues the story of Dom and his team. While the specter of Walker hangs over the Fast and Furious movies and Brian and Mia were mentioned, the series avoided directly bringing Brian back until the final scene of Fast 9. The movie gave Walker a touching farewell screen appearance while also keeping him alive. Mia rejoins Dom and the team in their search for their renegade agent brother, Jacob Toretto. And while Mia is on this mission, Brian is taking care of his namesake, Dom's toddler son, Brian, as well as their own children. With assistance from the betrayed Jacob, whose heel face turns to the good side, is a staple of the franchise's antagonist. The crew eventually succeeds in thwarting the most recent deadly plots of Charlie's Theron's Cypher, who exists to hack another day. After they have completed their mission, the scene cuts to a familiar blue car, a Nissan Skyline driven by Brian in previous films, pulling into the driveway before cutting to black. Even though the driver is never seen, it is obvious that Brian O'Connor and his family have returned. Fast and Furious 10, also known as Fast X, is the most anticipated sequel since the release of the most recent movie, Fast 9 in 2021. On April 20th, Vin Diesel announced on his Instagram account that filming had begun, as well as the title of the film. Universal initially declared that Fast and the Furious 10, or Fast X as it is now officially known, would hit theaters on April 7, 2023. However, the new date, which has been confirmed as May 19, 2023, has been slightly postponed. During the first week of filming, director Justin Lin announced his intention to step down. Although a replacement director was selected a week later, it is still unclear whether this will result in delays. The possibility of an exclusively theatrical release for the film appears to be very high. It makes sense that, with exception of a really drastic event, we'll be seeing the upcoming movie in theaters soon, since the previous movie, F9, had one of the most theatrical runs of the pandemic era. Also, since the film is going to be split into two parts, we don't know when part two of the movie will be out, but we'll probably find out soon enough. Without the majority of the family present, the series finale wouldn't be complete, and the cast list was announced along with the confirmation of the filming. For the 10th installment of Fast and the Furious, the Toretto family will be reunited. Vin Diesel's Dom is undoubtedly back, joined by many other well-known characters, especially since Fast and Furious 9 ended without any fatal accidents. Sung Kang is hot, who unexpectedly made a comeback alongside Michelle Rodriguez as Letty, Tyrese Gibson as Roman, Ludacris as Teach, Jordana Brewster as Mia, Charlize Theron as the villain Cypher, and Natalie Emmanuel as Ramsey expanded the family even further. We consider that that would be the end of the main cast, but we'd expect a lot of characters from the entire series, such as Lucas Black as Sean Boswell, Bow Wow as Twinkie, Jason Tobin as Earl Hugh, and Shia Wingham as Agent Stasiak to appear in cameo roles and small screen appearances. Before we go any further, we wanted to let you know that it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. At the end of F9, Mr. Nobody, a character played by Kurt Russell, was still in question. We wouldn't be surprised if he's still around to support Dom and his crew. Though, given that he helped Han fake his own death, In relation to Han's return, there is a theory that Mr. Nobody may have also faked Giselle's death. As a result, could Gal Gadot make an appearance in the two-part finale? We're not excluding anything after the ninth film Space Adventure. Fast X's plot hasn't been revealed yet, and given F9's space-bound chaos, it's really impossible to predict where the final chapter will go. But we can make some wild guesses though. Given that this is the final chapter, Fast X might turn to the crew's younger members 
particularly Dom and Brian's children. Maybe the film ends with a flash forward that demonstrates how those kids mature into the next generation of great racer agents, just like their parents. That is something Jordana Brewster has stated that she would like to see in the final movie. If that's the path the story is going, it'll be more of a passing of the torch. And if that's the case, we should probably expect some emotional occasions between the crew and their children as they work to keep the world safe for their benefit. Of course, the topic of the villain still remains. The best Fast and Furious film, according to many, is Fast Five. However, one crucial Dom Toretto story element that made Fast Five so successful has been lost, and it should be resumed in Fast X. F9 did not leave too many loose ends for the follow-up, with the exception of Charlize Theron Cypher escaping once again. In other words, Fast X has a blank canvas to work with when it comes to deciding where to take the stories of Dom, his friends, and the recently introduced Jacob Toretto, played by John Cena. Fast X should take advantage of the chance to turn Dom's family back into wanted criminals, either by framing them or by forcing them to cross a line in the interest of the greater good. The important part would be for Fast X to cut ties between the Dominic Toretto family and MacGuffin character, like Mr. Nobody, that they no longer have a free pass out of every scenario. The Fast X won't be any different from the previous four installments if it's just about the crew getting a mission once again. This is not to say that Fast X should be a carbon copy of Fast Five, but it should try to capture what made those films and the ones before them so special. Instead of making Dom and the family into unbeatable superheroes, Fast and Furious works better when the odds are against them. However, it is not clear whether F9's post credit scene will be resolved in Fast and Furious 10 or another film. Since F9 revealed Mr. Nobody helped fake Han's death, it should be interesting to see what they will do with Deckard Shaw's character in Fast and Furious 10 or another film. The final scene of F9 showed Deckard Shaw running into Han again and being shocked to see him still alive. Will Shaw let the past go in peace, given that he inadvertently helped Han in keeping Project Ares secure? Or perhaps Shaw will once again turn evil as a result of Han's unexpected return. Additionally, it's possible that Shaw and his family may once again turn against Dom's crew in the upcoming movie. Cypher, on the other hand, was still alive and on the run at the end of F9, so she could return as the villain. And because of that, you need to smash that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. Expect a lot of exotic locations and even more exotic vehicles because it's expected to be a massive story that will take the crew all over the world. Fans expect that the Familia will embark on yet another high stakes mission with absurd levels of action whoever they are going to face. We'll just have to buckle up and enjoy the ride because there's literally no telling where this story could take us. See you in the next video.